Good Friday afternoon, everybody. September 29th, 2017. The last day in September for this show uh-huh. is today, right now, happening. Yep. It's here. It's now. It's live. How y'all doing out there? Jeremy Crosby, Preston Schmidt, and Andrew Bamlett, we're all here ready Hello. to rock your socks. No, thank you. Please keep your socks away from me. I do not want to see them or touch them or smell them. Thank you. Put your shoes back on. Goodbye. Is, okay, I'll put my shoes back on. Go ahead. Sorry. 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 Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. That's why I'm in the other room. That's why you've always yeah. been in <laughs> The truth comes out. The truth hurts sometimes, but there you go. Hmm. So, you know, I think more people should start wearing socks, too. See a lot of people out there just barefoot and shoe. We gotta say that's, that's, a, got that's hurt. a that's Doesn't a that mistake. Give you blisters and stuff. Like we'll give you some there, blisters. Uh, we'll give you the, the the feet sweats. The feet sweats. In my youth. The feet sweats. I I, I experimented with no sock inside of shoe. Wrecked the shoes. Ugh. It ruins them. It's terrible. Come I'm. A, I mean, how do you not wreck your feet? You know. Oh, you I mean both. both. It goes both ways. Yeah, <laughs> foot and shoe. The, yeah. So mm. the sock is more the socks, grill. and then also put shoes on top of them. Have you guys ever done the insoles? Like gels? Uh, yes. Yeah, when I, I was younger. I have my, very flat I have feet. Them, yes. My wife has really flat feet, too. Yeah. I have very high arched, so I am oh. the opposite. Whoa. Whoa, look at this guy. That's why he's tall. Flaunting his arches over here. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, hey. well, we're going to go okay. ahead and just move on from that. Leave it there. We'll pick up this discussion never again. Okay, fantastic. Well, let's tell you what's coming up on the show today. Very busy day yesterday in the city of Fitchburg. We got to get you updated, including the meet and greet event held right here at the Senior Center. We'll tell you about that uh, coming up. Uh, then uh, for the Digest segment, uh, we're going back. Okay. Right to the meet and greet. <laughs> oh. Maybe I shouldn't have led with that. I should have read my own script there. Hey, read the script. Yeah. Who's so, there uh, for? We're, 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 we're going to get you update on that meet and greet, <laughs> no matter which way you look at it. Uh, then we're going to head out to uh, the rolling pin, uh, and uh, Tanya's got a uh, fun fall dip coming up. A dip? Okay. A dip. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing. You weren't here. I was not. You missed out. Yeah. In fact, all of the staff that were there to try it a little bit. Whoo. Okay, good stuff. All right, thanks for rubbing it in. Let's go. Uh, like it was amazing. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, let's kick it off uh, with your headlines. And uh, as I'd mentioned, uh, it was the uh, Fitchburg Center uh, Meet, Greet, and Eat Senior Social held down at the Senior Center. Take a look. It's kind of like the Academy Awards. There's a lot of things that go on to make things like this happen, to make the Senior Center a great place. Um, I have a lot of friends the Fitchburg Senior Center friends, they're awesome. And they, they put this on. They are our 501c3, our fundraising arm for things that don't go in our budget. They help support the ukulele group. Um, I could go on and on. They'll be putting in paying for bifold doors in the dining room so we can make this a programming space. Um, and many other things from transportation, special needs, and the list goes on. And on behalf of the city council, mayor's office, and city staff, Thank you for attending, and our Senior Center is a great success for our community. I bet you some of you come from other communities, too, because of the great services you get. And we, we're indebted as a city to Jill, and we, the Senior Center makes us proud. You know, it's, it doesn't have the glitz and glamour maybe of being a cop or a firefighter, but it's a really essential, it's a really essential city service, uh, service that, that provides and has a tangible result for people. Yeah, a packed house, as you can see, uh, not uh, not an empty seat to be had, unless you see an empty seat, and then that person was just up walking around and meeting and greeting people, oh. Preston. Uh, they also had prizes, ukulele group, as you heard, were playing along, and uh, coming up in our Digest segment, we'll take you back out there for the full, uh, right, kind of a great recap of uh, everything that uh, is going on there. But also, as part of last night, Mm-hmm. There was a surprise. Oh. There was a surprise award given last night. Take a peek. And tonight I'm here because I have the pleasure to tell you that the 2017 Professional Excellence Award is going to Jill McComb. She 
didn't invite you all here to be, you know, <laughs> part of her, her glory. But as, uh, as president, it's, it's nice to be able to bring the award to the people that appreciate Jill day in and day out, and that's all of you. We certainly appreciate her. Not only is she a great senior center director, she's active at the WASC board level. She's, on, she's our legislative committee chair. So she is sending out really important information about legislation that will affect older adults and their families. She does it for the board. It goes out to all of our membership throughout the state. So in theory, she's advocating for seniors throughout the state of Wisconsin. Congratulations, Jill McCone. Way to go. We'll uh, be uh, talking with the uh, Senior Center next week, so uh, we'll have to ask a little bit more about uh, that big award. Let's do it. Let's ask some questions about it. You betcha. Fantastic. All right. Last night, we also went out to the big game, and I think we all know which one I'm talking about here. That's right. Madison West versus Sun Prairie. Let's take a look. <laughs> Uh, Preston, unfortunately, unfortunately, Madison West uh, falls short here in this game, 37 to 7. Mm. Hey, fortunately, though, Sun Prairie maintaining that uh, undefeated streak. <laughs> so, you know, a little unfortunate event, a little bit of a fortunate event. There you go. And actually, the Big Eight Conference itself, this has been actually a fun season because yep. uh, it's been very, very competitive. Um, and as the standings are, you've got Sun Prairie 7 and 0, Middleton 6 and 1, and Madison West uh, falling back to 5 and 2. And uh, Verona Wildcats, by the way, they got a win last night. They're five and two, Ooh. so uh, kind of interesting that we've got uh, two teams. You know, our Strong. two teams five and two, and Strong division. Yeah, so uh, we'll have to see how the rest of the season plays out. I believe there's two games left. Yes, in the season, big stuff indeed. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. All right, you want to talk about a uh, fall paper shredding event? Zzz. All right, let's do it. Yeah, you can oh. join us for the free fall paper shred event on Saturday, October 7th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. right here at City Hall on the backside. So go around the community center and that's where you will see the Pelletary Waste Systems data destruction truck. Uh, and they'll be providing free confidential shredding for up to five banker's boxes per vehicle. Uh, this event is free uh, to Fitchburg residents only. So if you don't live here, you gotta find your own shredder. <laughs> and if you have any other questions, you can always contact Holly Powell. She's our engineering technician. You can see her number or her, her email address there on the screen. But there you go. Destroy your personal information that you don't want uh, being exposed out there. Get that peace of mind. You betcha. Uh, on a different front, bulky plastic recycling is suspended at the drop-off mm. site. Uh, the bulky recycling dumpster at the uh, the Fitchburg Recycling Drop-Off Site at uh, 2373 South Fish Hatchery Road is ending on Saturday, September 30th. Bulky plastic materials such as five-gallon buckets and children's toys, if they cannot be reused, resold, or donated, you should place them into your refuse uh, to be sent to the landfill. Uh, we'll be uh, talking about this a little bit later this month, okay. or the month of October, excuse me, about uh, what happened. Okay. And it's not, uh, it's out of our control. Basically, there's a big change in the way that mm. all that stuff works. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll get we'll get to it. Hey, Preston, oh, this week. Hey. Did you know this week is Rail Safety Week in I Wisconsin? I did not know that. I uh, I almost missed it, but I brought it right back up, and I've got two graphics here to show you how you can stay safe, and it has to do with. The crossings. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. The crossings. So uh, these may look common to <laughs> they may they may look common to you, uh, but 
you should know that uh, kind of yeah. what these mean. What these uh, what these mean? Okay. Uh, so we've got the uh, the b before. So this is through the website, which we're going to post up. So you can click on here, and actually each one of these uh, clicks into additional signs uh, that are visible. Let's go to the next graphic and take a peek at one of those. There we go. And uh, it's the railroad crossing. Uh, you've got that X one. I think this one's important. Okay. Because there are some sites where this is, and sometimes there's not a yield sign, there's not a stop sign. Uh, so it says what it's called. It's called the cross buck sign. It's pretty cool. I do. I didn't even know that. What does it mean? It marks the crossing and should be considered the same as a yield. I did not know that. Huh. The more you know. <laughs> hey, and uh, how about a cool fact? Most common sign at public highway rail intersections. That's is the most that. common one. Wow. Yeah. And you've got these other ones here, too. I like this emergency sign. I've seen this at almost all crossings now. Mm -hmm, They've mm -hmm, uh, really mm -hmm. made an effort to do that. Uh, it's a emergency notification sign to notify the US DOT. So it um, tells you the uh, number track as well. So it's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we got some rails coming through Fitchburg here. So make sure you pay attention for those signs. Yeah, and it says 2016, the number of crashes at railroad crossings were up from 2015. In 2016, two people were killed and 15 people were injured as a result of 46 railroad crossing crashes. Whew. So uh, still something to be taken very seriously and uh, we need to stay safe in a way from the railroad tracks. Agreed. Preston. All right. Uh, do you have any interest in being a paid on call firefighter? Well, there's an info session coming up that you may attend if you would like. The City of Pittsburgh Fire Department is hosting the informational meeting uh, for people interested in becoming a paid on call firefighter. Uh, it's going to be held at Fitchburg Firehouse number one, so 5791 Lacey Road, on Wednesday, October 25th at 7 p.m. They are going to discuss the operations of the Fitchburg Fire Department and the role and responsibility of paid on call firefighters. Uh, there will also be time for you to ask questions as a group or individually if you want to find out more. Uh, you can head over to the city's website if you want to find out kind of the requirements. There are some requirements if you'd like to be a paid on call firefighter. So there you go. Fantastic. Get signed up. Head up to the website. You can fill out an application today. Do All it. right. We need to take a quick break. Coming up next, we're going to open up the Fitchburg Digest. We're going to take you back out to that meet, eat, or meet, greet, and eat. Mm. Either way, it happened. We're going to take you back there next on Talking Fitchburg.